now that we've got our model, we want to texture it. Um, let's say this is finalized. We just want to texture it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select um, we're going to select individual uh, seams where we're going to tell the program to cut. So we're going to take this 3D image and we're going to cut it into a 2D image, and we're, that's where we do our texturing. And then once our texturing is completed, we uh, the the uh, the texture just wraps back around the model, and it's it's very interesting. So um, I'm going to just start by um, selecting uh, this edge right here. Press Control E to mark the seam. Um, I'm also uh, going to mark a seam here. Mark seam and mark seam right here. And then what now? Uh, now that that's done, select all. Press Control N to recalculate the normals. That just makes it so that source doesn't uh, see your model as inside out. Sometimes it, it, it uh, shows up textures as inside out. You don't want that. So now that you have that, click this little button right here and go to UV Image Editor. This pulls up a little grid. That's where our 2D texture goes. Now with all the vertices selected, press A to select them all. Press U and click Unwrap. Now this takes our model, as you can see right here, and it cuts it along the seams that we told and lays it onto a 2D image space right here for us to work with. So this is where we do our texturing. Now, there's a couple things you want to do to get this nice um, to get uh, to get this nice to for preparing to texture this. Um, go back into object mode by pressing tab again. Go down here and press set smooth so that it's a nice smooth a smooth uh, model. So for example, the heavy He's already smooth. If we click set solid, you can you can just see um, right off the bat how you know that doesn't look like anything like the heavy you know. So smooth is what you want. Um, select our hat again, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, ambient occlude this. So to ambient occlude this, uh, what it, well first of all, an ambient occlusion is pre uh, shading the texture so that once the texturing is um, is is textured. It, it 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 gives it a nice effect. So you want to fill up this empty space as much as possible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, uh, just give me a second here. We're just going to um, move these uh, uh, pieces of this cut up 3D image um, as big as we can get so that the uh, we will be like extremely efficient. So I'm just gonna you know. Move this over here. Move this up. This here. here. Scale. Etc. Once we have it like nicely, I'm not going to do this super nicely, but once we have it how we want, we can ambient include it. So to do that, go to image, new, set it to 512 by 512. Press OK. It should just pull up a nice black texture on which you want to ambient include it. It, it. it usually is black. I've never seen it done otherwise, but just keep it black. Now go uh, click this button right here, uh, which is F10, and go over to Bake. Press Ambient Occlusion right here, and um, don't do anything else. Go to your shading, uh, which is F5, I think. Then go to the uh, the world buttons um, a tab right here, click ambient occlusion turn this on, select approximate for your gather method turn on pixel cache and slide the correction all the way up to one um, and then once you're done with that you can go back to your uh, uh, ambient occlusion in uh, the F12 menu and then you just press bake and you see what it does right here is it gives you the nice shadow look so that if we do um, uh, preview this in textured mode it gives it to you how you how it would look in a textured um, sort of uh, mode so that's looking good so far now um, uh, now I think that's pretty much it for modeling um, what you would want to do now is you'd want to save this image so I'll go into edit mode select all go to image uh, save as 
and just uh, go to the folder where you um, are saving everything. So for me, this would be bucket, and just save it as bucket underscore AO. That stands for ambient occlusion. Just save that image. Now, what you want to do is select all again. Uh, go to image, or I mean, sorry, UVs, scripts, save U UV face layout. Uh, set the size to 512, press OK, and go to the folder where you're saving everything and just save it as bucket underscore UV, and then save that. And now, what that does is it just saves um, the outlines of your UV, so when you're texturing it, you have a nice. Um, uh, outline to what what you're doing. So uh, now that the modeling is is complete, um, I mean you can obviously this is a simple model, but uh, when you're actually modeling, you can go and refine this, add it, add some individual vertices. Some other useful tools would be uh, Control R, which would be um, cutting it in certain parts. Um, you can you know I. Uh, just you know, research just other things. Is, I mean, it's really it, once you get going with it, it, it's pretty simple, really. And um, don't forget to save this file. Just, just save as, go to uh, the folder and just save it as um, bucket. Um, and then that just saves as it as a blend file, so you have everything ready to go. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it for modeling. Um, the next part is uh, texturing, and then we'll talk about um, exporting and scaling and having the right orientation in the next um, uh, couple episodes here. And then when we when we talk about the QC files and compiling, I'll talk about how to do multiple skins and maybe even jiggle bones. Um, so, yep. Uh, yeah, that's it.